Hello, today I'm going to show you my upgrades for the Ender 2. These have been done a long time ago, but I'm finally putting the video together. So let's have a look at the machine and I'll show you my various upgrades. Once again, the Ender 2 doesn't necessarily need any upgrades if you just want to print PLA and uh, not really modify it at all. If you do do upgrades, it's a rewarding venture because you really learn a lot about how the machine is made as well as increasing the performance of the machine. So let's start from the outside and work our way in. I did make a PSU box that protects the wires. I actually have a flip up back door so I can get to the wires if I need to add anything else onto the 12 volt leads. It has an on off switch right here. I don't like that the PSU fan is always going when it's plugged in. You see there's the on off switch then I made a, a box for the main control board this box right here has a SD card adapter for full size SD card it has the on off switch for the machine and it has a light switch which controls the LED light bar that's mounted to the back of the X gantry and gives really light, nice light onto the print bed Working our way up, I've mounted on a 5, 5015 blower with a simple single duct. On one of my other machines I have a dual duct, but this one seems to work pretty well. I have a silicon sock on the heater block, and I've mounted all the electrical connections with JST connectors and XT30 for the, for the heater cartridge, which carries more amps. I have the Capricorn a uh, large size tube going. I felt like the small size tube sometimes jams up with inconsistent tolerance uh, filaments. Working our way around, I have the CME CNC EZR extruder. This one I love because it really confines the filament path and allows you to print flexibles very easily. On top of that we have uh, the filament, excuse me, the extruder wheel that I designed to have only three arms so you can really see down into the gear real easily. And this allows you, of course, to advance or retract your filament manually and really helps with loading. I also have a simple aesthetic cover to cover the, uh, the X stepper belt. I put on a belt tensioner onto the X gantry. I had one at one point on the Y, but I didn't feel like it gave me enough tension, so I've taken that off. Oh, and then of course, I've also added yellow better springs. These are the flat section springs, which really provide a lot more compression than the standard ones. And I've insulated the bottom of my heat bed you can see that with the aluminum foil the metal foil and also insulating foam um, those springs really help to keep it from vibrating when it's printing it keeps it nice and tight so you don't have any vibrations and it keeps your level longer and one of the last upgrades probably the best because it's our own development is the wham bam flexible build surface this is held on with a very high temperature resistant magnet it's a spring steel sheet that lets you pop your builds off real easily and the PEX build surface really attracts that first layer so you can get really great adhesion. That's about everything. I'm going to put my links at the bottom of uh, the info. Let me know if you like it. Thank you.